We usually introduce Neville James Whitley OAM as the president of the Geelong District uh, Football Netball League. We have for 39 years. But for this week, Neville, we're going to speak to you as an East Geelong uh, past player. Are you looking forward to past players day this Saturday? It's always enjoyed past players day and this one will be no exception because um, it's, it's honouring the 74 premiership side on the reserves and also the runners up 74 side uh, in, the, in the seniors, which we were unlucky to lose. Yep. Well, I was just with uh, Kevin O'Leary at the uh, Richmond Crescent and we dug up a time capsule and we found a photo from 1974. If you want to take it out, have a look and tell us about some of the names in that 1974 side. Oh, this is a good side, um, actually, because uh, we had a very good senior side and um, we recruited uh, Peter Mannerick over from St Albans uh, as a coach and he played in the seniors. And uh, I happened to be uh, elected as president in 73, in which we won the premiership in 73 in the Evelyn Hurst Cup. And we were the best side in it in 74, but unfortunately we got beat by North Shore by eight points in the seniors. But this side here was uh, really, you know, a team of battlers. Uh, we weren't expected to win. Uh, we got in there sort of on default in one way because um, Newtown played us in the last home and home game and we beat them by 10 goals. And then there was top four back then. So we, we played them in the second semi. They beat us by 10 goals. And we were training on a Thursday night and John Collins, who was the president or the secretary of the league, came over and said, there's a meeting at seven o'clock to discuss maybe Newdown have played one, maybe two ineligible players. So I went to the meeting and it turned out they had three ineligible players and um, the game was taken off them. So we went straight into the grand final. And um, so then fortunately enough, we beat them by eight points in the grand final. So we had got a bit of a reprieve there. But going back to these players, there were some older, older guys in it, including myself. And uh, it was going to be my last year, but I helped out in 75 a few games there as well, but because we had a lot of young kids. And uh, there's a player in here, um, Big blonde headed bloke back. Uh, he played his first ever senior game in that grand final out of the under 18s and um, hadn't played football ever again. Hadn't played the one game of senior footy. So um, it, there was a bit of excitement around the club, but we were expecting to win the seniors more so than the reserves. Yeah. So 268 games between 1959 and then, as you mentioned, a few final ones in 75, although. I guess this was the finish line, this premiership of your playing career. I have to ask why East Geelong? Was there family links or did you live nearby the ground growing up? Yeah, we lived in East Geelong, but my uncles all were connected with East Geelong and uh, my mum's name was Pike and uh, there's uh, Pikes that lived around Richmond Crescent as well <laughs> and they were cousins of mum's and uh, and it was the closest club back then. There was no Thompson, the St Albans was a country club and now it's a city club. Uh, but uh, they played in the Woolworth Cup. But uh, I went to East Geelong because uh, in not back in 40, 46, 47, I was mascot in the premiership side. The East won three in a row, 46, 47, 48. And um, unfortunately, we didn't win another grand final until or premiership until 1970, which my son Mitch was mascot in that. So it was, it was 20, 23 years later that we won a, won a flag. And uh, then uh, in 74, in the reserves, Jack was the uh, mascot in that. So we lived in East Geelong, and uh, so it was more or less uh, convenient to play there. Yeah. Was there a highlight across your playing career? Was it a premiership, or could it have been against an arch rival in a regular home and away season game? It's interesting that um, we probably built up a rivalry against St Mary's. There was always St Mary's uh, that were always tough to beat. Uh, made a lot of friends with on the field as well, but you, when you're on the field, you battled it out like, like they do now. But uh, it was really good fun. We were playing football back in those days. It won umpire, uh, and you made friends with the umpire as well. You know, you try to bluff them out of it, but uh, most of the times the umpires were very strong and they, they knew what they were doing. And uh, they just told me to take, they have the whistle if I want to umpire. So, <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of little, little, little barters going on with. Um, uh, different players, but uh, Newtown was probably our nemesis because uh, they had beaten us a few times in tight games, and uh, but then that one in this grand final was the 
prove on the gate. Yeah. Two quick questions to finish off. What are you looking forward to most at this reunion on Saturday? Oh, to get back to some of these guys that played in this side. Uh, as I said before, the, the reserve, seniors were runners up, so a lot of those guys will be there as well. Um, but um, it did, it, well, you know, we're all getting older, and now some of the, some of the guys in here are, are no longer with us, you know, and, and they've passed away. But, and then back in 1966, when we played in the Jarman Cup, um, there's only two or three of us alive in that at this stage, so uh, it, it's getting getting on and uh, just to make friends again because when you play football, you make friends on the field, but when you win premierships together, you never forget each other. Yeah. Well, I've got a bit of courage in myself asking this final question, given you have been our league boss for 39 years. But how did you go as a player? Were you all right? Oh, I was a bit of a, a bit of a battler, but um, I played fullback most of my career. Uh, but one thing I was, I was a fairly good kick, and um, we used to do all drop kicks back in those days, and they're, they're, people wouldn't know what they are half the time, but um, I used to kick out from full back drop kick, and uh, one thing I was good as was a kick, but I just battled along and uh, enjoyed my games with my mates. Well, let's see if uh, your version of events checks out. We'll now cross to East Geelong and hear from both Kevin and Christine O'Leary about your playing career. Thanks, Evan. And Kevin, I've got to ask you, what was Neville like in East Geelong colours? Uh, well, he was fullback, played in a couple of reserves premierships. Uh, a beautiful kick, put oil all over himself, looked good, looked the goods. Uh, beautiful drop kick, um, run the show out on the back line in those in the 60s and 70s, did very well. Uh, he, I think, present in 73 when we won the premiership, and he was present until he went to the GDFL. But he was well liked, all the players liked him, and he was influential in the club rooms were on the other side. They burned down in 66, 67, they built it all up. They built the gym and got all this and took it over. And uh, there was a group of committee and never was part of that, then he became president. Terrific, terrific on the ground, just good socially and was a good fella. And co coached the under 18s, coached me in under 18s. So you can see he started off right through it, right the club right through. Yes, yeah, so it was a shame to lose him to the GDFL, but um, like lots of our players, they've gone to other league clubs and started their committees and that. But I remember coming to East Geelong in the 70s and meeting Neville and his family, and we became very good friends and socialised with them. On the footy field, yes, him and Kevin did run amok sometimes, <laughs> but they were good to watch and they bled East Geelong through and through. So Neville's, yeah, and I think he still has a little soft spot for us, even if he is at the GDFL. Well, whether he admits it or not, I'm sure the three of you will have a great time, but all of you will have a great time this Saturday, yes. uh, our match of the round. Good oh, on you, Alex. Great. Much appreciated. Great. Thank you.